Okay, we now welcome on a very special guest. Long, long overdue. It's, I was going to say the number one comedian, but I know that would bother you. Don't say that. I'm not going to say that. It's Shane Gillis, the dog. You've kind of transcended comedy. It's an all-around <laughs> entertainment superstar. You've hey, changed the you, art. Guys. Shane, are you A-list? <laughs> do you want to leave? Do you want to not do it again? <laughs> That'd be great if you were just yeah. like, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. No, Shane's here. Uh, awesome to have you. Thank you very much for coming by. You, I mean, you did fuck with me last night because you had a show. You're in Chicago for Chicago theater shows. Shane made me do the voice of God, and I just fucking you blew it. I blew it. I thought you were going to be all energy. I blew it. How do you do the voice of God? Like, like being like, ladies and gentlemen, like, please no flash photography, and I just blew it. Yeah. So there's yeah there's a microphone next to the curtain where you make the announcement, and I was like, here's all you gotta say. Like, if you're gonna take a picture, don't use a flash, don't film anything, and then introduce Nate Marshall. And he, I was like, and then say whatever, like add whatever you want, like be like Chicago, yeah. what's up? He literally was like, hey everybody, if you're gonna take a picture, don't use the flash and don't film anything. G- give it up for Nate Marshall. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right away, I was like, oh, motherfucker. That was that was one of the worst ones uh, ever. That was a bad one. I I said to Nate after, I was like, I'm so sorry because I feel like I fucked you. He's like, no, dude, actually, like it was good because you yeah. were so bad. It made me laugh and like put me at ease going out there. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Do most places have their own voice of God or do you just you deputize? No, somebody? you have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Usually if somebody's with me, I'm like, you want to do it? It's but no, or I have to do it, which is terrible. Maybe I'm I'll show so up. bad at it. Maybe Can I'll show up tonight and give it a second chance. Yeah, get pumped. Next yeah. time you're in New York, it should be Frank the Tank. Oh, oh that'd be incredible. But he would just be like, the New Jersey Transit is is delayed It'd again. It'd be incredible <laughs> to get him going while he's doing it. Yeah. Be like, yeah, the Phillies rule the Mets. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Mets fucking <laughs> <laughs> over the voice of God. Ten he, minutes of it. He does it. He comes to Rough and Rowdy uh, for every Rough and Rowdy just to get in the ring right before and just say, is everyone ready to get Rough and Rowdy? <laughs> well, that's, that's not it. That's not it at all. It's it's. Are you ready to get? Who's ready to get Rough? rough. Who's ready to get rowdy? Are you ready to get yeah, rough and true. rowdy? Yeah. That's pretty good. It's yeah, pretty he did good. better yeah. than what I did. Yeah, he's Would Bruce you? Buffer. Yeah. He's yeah. your buffer. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're here. Thank you for coming on. Um dude, you're you're I I don't want to cuz I know you were friends and I know like the thing about Shane is he is just a regular dude and it's like this last whatever stretch for you has been probably mind-blowing. I don't want to suck your dick cuz it makes you uncomfortable, but <laughs> shit man, you're killing it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. You guys are too. This place is beautiful. Yeah, let's just suck each other's dicks yeah. the whole time. You guys yeah. are awesome. I hear that's how so that's happy. what you do to get famous in comedy, right? You have to suck two dicks at once. Yeah, basically. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, we'll start with something easy. Uh, All time favorite Notre Dame player. Ooh, Shane is a diehard Notre Dame fan. Diehard. Man, I'm gonna forget. That's a tough one. It could be. Par- it doesn't have to be the best. Samarja was. Samarja was. Samarja the best. was up there. That team was. That was a big team for me. Samarja Zibikowski, was. Quinn, yeah. Samarja. Yeah. Brady Quinn, I mean, we've we've had him on this show. Darius Walker. The best spiral of all time. Yeah, he was. That spiral was, he was so, awesome. so sick. Yeah, that team was the, good. The safety was Zibikowski, right? Zibikowski. Every time he'd be on TV, they'd be like, he's a Golden he's Gloves a boxer. boxer. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a, a boxer, boxer, man. He's so tough. And then Smarja <laughs> was a really good receiver, and then he goes pro as a baseball player. That yeah. rocks. And made that a was awesome. of money. And he yeah, played forever. Yeah, yeah he's he on the Cubs. Throw the ball. Um Okay, so you're Notre. How are you, a Notre Dame fan? How'd that start? My grandpa played for him, and my cousin played for him. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go way back. So my whole family's obsessed. Do you like the the tradition? The uh, you know the whole Notre Dame ness of it. <laughs> I do. You get really into that. But there's also a part I didn't go to the fucking school, so like the academic standards, I don't care. Mm-hmm. That's always like it's like, who cares? Just fucking win. What's up, Santa? Santa you know? here. He's gonna Just be on in, in a minute too. No, yeah, yeah, sit, yeah, yeah. Sit down, sit down, no. sit down. <laughs> no, oh God, dude. Yeah. All right, he's gonna go shoot hoops. Uh, yeah. So you've been a Notre Dame fan your whole life. It's uh, I, Notre Dame. You know, people hate Notre Dame. Like hate, hate, yeah. hate Notre Dame. Not as much as they should. You they used they to, like hate- growing up. They they hated them. Yeah, because they haven't been. They as were good. so good. Yeah. Right. Now people are starting to be like, ah, I was cheering for Notre Dame. It's like, damn. You, you, we suck. You have the the people, and I count myself as one of them, being like, I don't like Notre Dame, but they're good for college football, which probably it's kind of like a pat on their head. Yeah, it's like I kind of wish they were in the mix. Yeah, but they've been in the mix a little. Yeah, they're all right. Are they going to join the Big Ten? I don't know. I think they might have to eventually. I think they should. I would like it. Yeah, that'd be fun. It would be sick. USC being in there helps now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then bring back the Michigan rivalry. I would love to bring back the Michigan rivalry. I know. I fucking hate Michigan. <laughs> I know. That would be a great one. 
The uh, I think actually Wisconsin plays Notre Dame in a couple of years at Lambeau. I want to say they were supposed to do that. Yeah, and then COVID. Yeah, yeah, and I went to the game at Soldier Field and Notre Dame. That was not nice. shit out of yeah. It was that like was a late high game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh well. And Drew Pine came out of nowhere, Drew started Pine. dealing, dude. Fucking Drew Pine, all like five ten of them. Yeah, he's hitting the McGregor strut and shit after throwing. Yeah. So wait, would you rather have a Notre Dame national title than an Eagles Super Bowl? Yes, without a doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you have to. Everyone has that, like you know, they rank like yeah. where where it is. It's Notre Dame. Yeah, and yeah, the not, Phillies. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. What? No, say. No, I was gonna say like if they died, I'd be for a national title. If the Phillies, if the died? Phillies program, <laughs> the just, entire they, team died. Yeah, the whole team died. I'd <laughs> <laughs> trade Bryce Harper for, yeah. a ring, <laughs> for like a knockoff ring. No offense yeah. to the Phillies. No offense to the Phillies. I love the Phillies, but so it goes yeah. it goes Notre Dame, Eagles, Sixers. Are you a Sixers guy? I would probably say Phillies over the Sixers. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, but yeah, the Sixers, Flyers. Whenever they're good, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. They've been bad forever, so I stopped liking hockey. Yeah. Speaking of the uh, of the NBA, you so you met Steph Curry the other day, and he like was like, "I know who you are." Yeah, that was crazy. That's <laughs> that was so. Yeah, that was. That wild. has to be one of those moments because, like I said at the start, like you are a regular dude. I, you have not changed much, even though you, the, everything's happened to you. Like, does that happen? And you're just like, how wh- how does Steph Curry know who I am? Yeah, that was wild, and it was like. You've sat in those seats, those like court sides. I couldn't move. Right. I was like uncomfortable the entire game. I didn't move because I'm too big. I'm sitting like on people's laps, just uncomfortable the entire game. And at the end of the game, I walk over and I'm like, hi, I'm Shane Gillis. <laughs> I mean, you, guys, you guys nailed it. Yeah. They, whoever did the lip reading yeah. got it perfectly. I was like, hi, I'm Shane. He was like, I know who you are, dude. I was like, sick. What's up? And then he was like, I'm, I'm, he said he was a fan. I was like, damn, that's crazy. That's, that is nuts. Yeah. The courtside seats are weird because you, to me, the biggest problem is you don't have any place to put your beer. Yeah. And you put it down by your feet and you know you're going to kick I'm it gonna over. I'm going to spill it onto the fucking Warriors bench. And the game's going to stop and they're going to bring a guy <laughs> yeah, with a yeah. towel and <laughs> yeah. the camera's going to zoom in on you and be like, look at this alcoholic spilling his drink everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's a nightmare. That's, that's a nightmare. That's the worst case. Absolute yeah. nightmare. Uh, so when you were in New York, I the only question I have about SNL is, was there any part of you that was like, I'm not going to host it when they offered it to you? Because it would have- yeah. So you you were like contemplating it because you're like no fuck you guys I'm bigger than you it guys was, you're coming back to me now it was more of it's the funniest thing possible right to say no but then I realized I would have to publicly say they offered me and I said no and then yeah. no one would know it's not like they publicly offered it right you know and yeah. that makes it corny to be like they actually asked me and I said no yeah there's you need that to be leaked somehow yeah we would have leaked it for you yeah if that happens again but. It, I don't know. I, there was I was like joking about it. We'd be hanging out. I'd be like, "It'd be so cool if I didn't do it. I might not do it." And then back in my head, I was like, "I'm definitely doing it. Yeah, I'm yeah. absolutely going to do that." Did they call? Did Lauren call you directly? No. So what? They just reach out to your yeah, agent? yeah, yeah. And and you were you like this is a prank at first? No, because I'd heard rumblings of it for a while, like a year. Yeah. Of like they they might ask you to host. It must have, it, like, when you walked in the room, was it awkward at all? Or were you just like, hey, guys, uh, like, remember? Yeah, day one was awkward. <laughs> uh-huh. day, day one was very uncomfortable. Because it was offices that I hadn't been in since since then. Yeah. Wait, so I, didn't, like, I, for, I didn't realize you had, like, actually, did you do a full day of work there? I did. No, I didn't do any work. Yeah, I, yeah. It was just damage control right, right, in different right. offices. Right. But, but you, yeah, I was in there a lot. You were in there, yeah. yeah. And so I was just sitting in offices where... The worst thing. The worst thing happened. Possible. Yeah, yeah. back like, hey, this is it. Yeah. So, did you think about doing the the Norm Macdonald joke in your monologue? Yes, a lot. But the, then, uh, I don't know. I think the best way to handle it is to just do comedy. Yeah. For me, like yeah. Norm got fired for making fun of OJ. Right. His was a lot different. We can right. say Norm was right. Norm was right. Yeah. Yeah. Dead right. We can publicly say Norm was right. Yes. Yes. Um, and he was on the show, and the fans there liked him. You know, if I got out there and I was like, yeah, fuck this show. Yeah. It would look crazy. And yeah. then I'd still have to do the show. Right. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, you you'd know? have to, you'd be like, fuck this show. Like in the everything. monologue, if I was like, yeah, whatever, this show sucks, I'm crazy. And then <laughs> have to do s- sketches where I'm like. <laughs> yeah. Did they. Did they <laughs> like, that sucks. <laughs> like how, how involved in the writing process did they let you be? Because I know that you're, you like write sketch comedy. Yeah. That's I what brought it. McKeever. Yeah. Like, so he's d- the one who does. A majority of the writing. So yeah. Did you guys yeah. actually bring your own shit to them, or were you like, "Hey, we're gonna do this"? We brought a couple sketches, but day one was when we had to pitch them, and it was a very uncomfortable day. 
and then we got in a room with a bunch of the writers and we're like, here's some ideas we have. And we would tell the jokes and they would be like, huh. oh, no. and we were immediately like, all right, we're not pitching anything else yeah. ever again. We suck. You guys are right. Also, just use the good shit for yourself. Yeah. There's also that. Yeah. yeah. So the, there, there was a, uh, a tweet. One Barstool employee after your monologue <laughs> tweeted this. Uh, Shane Gillis on SNL saying gay, retarded, and cracker is exactly what we needed. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, is that tweet? You saved America. Is that, that felt good, honestly. That, would you say that tweet's more gay or retarded? <laughs> I would say that's fucking, <laughs> no, that's You know who tweeted either, that? Who? Will. Compton. Yeah, Will Compton. <laughs> you like, we're like, dude, it was. It was Will, it was retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Will was just like, Jane Gillis just saved America. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of pressure on that fucking monologue. Did you, so the big question though is, and Hold I, on, there's I, one here. This one's my favorite. It's like, Shane Gillis bringing back calling things gay and retarded on SNL like we used to in middle school. And it's, uh, oh shit, I'm airplane mode. It's the, it's this Michigan fan that's like, that shit means something to me, man. <laughs> like a guy crying like, it means something to me. <laughs> the, uh, the big question is though, was there ever even like a small part of you that was like, maybe I should do the Bud Wire? Because you uh, said you were going to do the Bud Dwyer. Yeah, I said I was going to kill my. If I ever got back, I would say, <laughs> live from my mouth, this fucking gun. <laughs> kill myself, but Like, obviously, I don't want you to die. I would have been the, yeah, that would have been the coolest. But was there a small part of you that was like, what if I did? It's like almost like getting on the top of a tall building. You're like, what if I jumped? Yeah, yeah. There's, obviously, I understand the, I would be the coolest guy of all time. <laughs> But if you, I got back on SNL and blew my head <laughs> off on live television, that would be that might be the biggest entertainment story of all time. It would be it'd be up there, right? Yeah. I mean, Bud Dwyer was huge, yeah, yeah, and that was just some fucking guy, yeah, whatever oh, he was. That would have, I mean, I, there was a small part of me watching it being like, he what if might. He did? I I actually think I think <laughs> like, they would have hey, had to cancel, be <laughs> like they would have canceled SNL, yeah. Yeah, no shit. I, 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 I canceled I, NBC. I, I think the entire yeah. guy got a gun Especially because you studio. said you were going to do it, too. You, like, telegraphed it. They're like, why would they let him on? There's no live television ever again for anyone. <laughs> the, the gambling sketch you did felt very pointed. I That had nothing to do with me. I didn't okay. write that. Because I was, I was watching it live with my wife, and yeah. she literally was just staring at me the entire time <laughs> that sketch was going. Yeah. She was like, huh? And I was just like, what, what, what? <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. I liked great. that. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you, your, your stuff is, uh, the stuff you guys, you do with McKeever is incredible. And you have a new show coming on Netflix. On Netflix, Tires, yeah, That Tires. you paid for yourself. Yes. Which is awesome. Yeah. So you were just like, fuck it, I'm going to, I'm going to do this show. Yeah. And I want my friends to be in it. And like, it w was there ever a doubt like you would get to this point where it's like I can uh, I can now bring all my friends along and pay for this shit? Well, the the reason I'm friends with them is like they're good. All right. You know, I have a bunch of friends that I didn't bring along. Oh shit. <laughs> Sass is like listening to this right now. Francis. Oh, Nate. Fuck you, Nate. <laughs> Nate the corner. Yeah. No, Nate, Francis Nate. is in it. Oh, Francis, Francis is, in is it? actually Francis in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't like that. I mean, uh like these guys, it's not like I'm bringing that. They're they're great. Like McKeever and the guy that's in it, who's like actually the main character, is Steve Gerben, and people are gonna love him. He's as funny as it gets. Yeah, yeah. It's, gonna be it's easy to yeah. It's easy to work with those guys. Was it? Was it? Were you feeling like this is a big risk to fund it myself? Or you're like, it's. I know it's gonna be funny. No, because we did it with Gillian Keeves. I funded that. Yeah. And it was like, we can just put it behind a paywall, and I'll make. I'll at least make it back. Right. Or close to make it back. Right. And then with me, it's easy because if we put all these sketches out, even if I didn't make the money back. It'll result in ticket sales, right? And I'll make the money back. Yeah, that right. way. It's also nice to just run it yourself, so nobody yeah. has any chance of telling you like, "Hey, take this out, don't do this." Yeah, or like get embarrassed if somebody doesn't like one of the sketches that you do. Yeah, like, that's that's a, that's a nice bit of freedom. That that's hard. That. that was hard about SNL is having zero creative control, really. Right. Because I never work with other people. Right. It's always me and my friends or stand up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The it, it's. I, I don't I, I really am not trying to be this guy being like you beat the system but have you had that thought like I kind of beat the system because like now it's like Netflix is like oh yeah we want to put your show on SNL's yeah. inviting you back like all this stuff that's I think that's a lot of your story arc where people are drawn to you because like you beat the system like you did it your way yeah and and people ride for an underdog like that for sure I think though now that is the system yeah now it's you're more, right that that just is the system now. If you want to do comedy, it's like you kind of got to make it yourself. 
That's yeah, it. yeah. It's you like know? we're talking to, to Stavi about that. And yeah, like doing, Stavi's another guy doing that. your own thing yeah. and and having all that control. It's really the way to go. Um, Stavi also, I don't know if you heard the, the episode he did with us, but he's obviously a big Baltimore Ravens. Fan. He's in he's in tires. Stavis. Yeah, 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 a, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He uh, he he had his brain set on the uh, Ravens winning the Super Bowl on his birthday this year, <laughs> and then it took him like a week to process the loss. He was just locked up in his apartment or his house in Baltimore, yeah. just eating ice cream all day, like just in the dark thinking. He about, didn't need that he, fucking Ravens he, loss to eat he, all that ice no, cream. That dude, no, <laughs> no. Oh, I'm so depressed. I think we were yeah. the first people to talk to him. We, we, yeah. we had him on on like the Thursday after they lost. Yeah, he was having fun this season. Yeah, yeah. He, he was like was, the face of the Ravens. I know. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it kind of became that. It had built up to this point where he was dead certain that his birthday, they were going to win the Super Bowl. Then he was going to party with the team and become best friends with everyone. Then when they lost, it just it crushed him. Um, <laughs> if you're anything like Max, who's also an Eagles fan. How's um, that Nova? They're actually coming we're back. Cooking. We're cooking right dude, now. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good. A lot of game. We're good. A lot of game. Uh, Max, Max was not that same way when the Eagles lost. He saw that coming like a mile away. As an Eagles fan, were you like, did you have any hope this season? This year, no. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when they were ten and one, I was like, "Yeah, fuck, we're doing we're it ten again. and one." Yeah, it was way different than last year though. Last year they were fucking, or the year before they were fucking. It was like people magical. Up. Yeah, yeah. This year was very like struggling a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was obvious. Yeah, what but then you know they get in the playoffs. You're like, hey, maybe they're magic. Maybe yeah, they I got know. a chance. I think I bet on them against yeah. the Bucks. I was like, <laughs> they've been there. It's like so fucking stupid. Yeah. It's like yeah. you you the, the writing was on the wall with yeah. that. They were falling apart the entire the second half of the season was crazy. As soon as they lost Big Dom, True. it was over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big Dom was the was what kept it all together. He's the man. <laughs> yeah. The uh so all right, so Eagles it, the one thing that I feel like you have a cheat code to, most comedians, maybe I'm wrong, but a lot of comedians aren't like huge sports fans. Is that I feel like that's fair. Like yeah, for Burr's sure. obviously Bill Burr's a huge sports fan. We have him when we ever we have him on. He just like rants about sports. And we're like, yeah. great. I was, nice. Didn't you have something to plug? <laughs> like, <laughs> but you get like I feel like all the all the athletes are like drawn to you because you're like I'm a huge sports fan. I talk about sports in my set. Yeah, like all these guys can relate to me. Yeah, it's nice. No other comics really talk about playing football. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody played high school football. And you get to, like, just yeah. eat it all up. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's fucking sick. It's easy. Every city you go to, it's like, oh, there's the entire offensive line of that. Yeah, NFL it's always team. the O-line. <laughs> that feels good, dude. The O-line is always out for Love you. seeing the big dudes. Yeah. yeah. You played it. Was it Elon? Yeah. You played at Elon? What played was that, one year. I sucked. What was that like playing there? Uh, it was awesome. Other than getting my fucking ass kicked every day. Yeah. It was a cool school. It, it, so I've heard yeah. good things. I had a, a bunch of friends that went there because I grew up in Virginia. So like the the good athletes, if they don't get into like if Virginia Tech doesn't hit them, yeah. Like Elon's a good place to go. But like, did you start there? No, I went well, pretty much. Yeah, I went to Army for three weeks. Okay, which is hilarious. For three weeks. <laughs> your your story about quitting Army is like the most relatable story ever. Because I just like if I had if you put me in West Point for a week, I'd be like, I want to go home right now dude i quit did i ever tell you that with the parade no all right so day one when you get to west point they drop you like your parents drop you off at like five in the morning you go through it's called our day i think and so that's where they like shave your head give you fucking uniform teach you how to march and then at the end of the day all the parents line the road and all the new the cadets march past them so they see their kids becoming soldiers and like my mom was waving like a little american flag and i was like marching past him and i was like i'm leaving i'm quitting <laughs> <laughs> right when i got past him i was like i'm fucking quitting i'm out of here i hate it my mom was like <laughs> i just watched her lower her flag <laughs> yeah was it like day one you got there and you're like uh i knew i, I was i don't think i knew i was fucked out. like three months before i got there i was like damn i'm fucked on this <laughs> they gave you like you know any football program gives you like a workout program for the summer mm-hmm didn't touch it. <laughs> Gained <laughs> fucking 40 pounds. Did you get your head shaved? Yeah. Oh. I still had to get my head shaved. <laughs> you had to get your head shaved. Oh, no. I got sworn into the military. You got to swear in. <laughs> so you were sitting, you were like, flash forward like three weeks, and you're sitting in your parents' basement with your head shaved being like, that happened. No, it was, uh, I had to go straight to Elon. Oh, okay. Because I quit. You, I was, it was early enough at West Point. Boot camp starts early before preseason football. So I got... I get to leave boot camp to go to fucking preseason. Oh, okay. So that's at least summer. Better. No, that blew. That was way harder than fucking West Point. Dude. <laughs> do you uh, when you watch like the Army Navy game? Do you find yourself rooting for Army? Uh, 
No, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. At first I was. There was still a part of me that I was like, yeah. Yeah, it's part of the program. Yeah. Did you make a friend? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't, <laughs> didn't have, like, a, a one connection. No. Like, the first, you know, like, everyone in, like, college, like, your first week, you, like, meet that one yeah. guy. You're like, we're going to be best friends forever. Well, there were, yeah, there were a couple guys, like, we took, like, official visits together and recruited together. That I was like, yeah, that's gonna be my guy. Yeah. And then I remember I was when I was quitting, I saw him. He was standing at attention, watching me, like walk by, and he was like, "Wait, you had to walk full. by like a whole group of yeah." When you quit, you have to be in like a platoon of fucking quitters. No. And they still keep you there for like an extra week. How many quitters were there? There's a couple quitters, dude. There's <laughs> probably not that many. Though. Out of a thousand, there was like twenty of us. Dude, I wouldn't. I, I, I would. I would have quit too. before I even. No, you can't. Signed I up. Mean, it, yeah. Like I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have even signed up. I don't know what I was thinking. I for real don't know what I was. But thinking. that's like a very relatable thing. Like everyone has that where they're like, "I'm gonna be great." Yeah, I was and like, then I, you, I yeah. could be the fucking president. <laughs> <laughs> I was, dude, it was. But they get your parents. They do a really good job of getting your parents. So my parents were like locked in. They're like, "This is awesome. Our son's gonna be a fucking hero." <laughs> I remember telling my dad once. I was like, "Fuck it, I gotta, gotta go to war. What if I fucking die?" He's like. Is that so bad? <laughs> Dying for your country? I was like, you didn't fucking, you didn't do anything. Why are you fucking saying that to me? Dude, Big oh, Phil man. rocks. He does rock. He's, Shade's dad is in a lot of his comedy. I yeah. I was laughing so hard when you, because I know you were like hard on yourself for your monologue for parts, but when you just like, were like, yeah, I brought him just to roast him up. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. rules. No, that was the other thing about the monologue. Like that's, you've seen me do stand-up. That's how I do stand-up. Right. Like the whole time I'm in the room, I'm like, ah, you didn't laugh at that, whatever, fuck you. That, mm -hmm. It's so natural. But if you do that in a monologue, like an SNL monologue usually isn't somebody in the room fucking around like, oh, the lights are bright, this is crazy, I can see all you right. not laughing. Yeah. They were laughing. You can hear that it's very loud. Yeah. Laughter. Yeah. And it's, uh, but that's natural. Like, and one of the jokes was about people not laughing was me being like, my niece has Down syndrome. I thought that would get a bigger laugh. <laughs> like, oh, he's bombing. It's like, no, that's the joke. That's, that's yeah. an insane thing to expect to laugh for. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That was a it was a great little stretch we had with with you doing the monologue and then Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, did you meet her? America's so back. No, I did not meet Sydney Sweeney. Fuck. But cool story. The, I was doing Radio City the next week while Sydney was doing Sydney. You know, first yeah. name. Sid. You know how me and Sid talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, she was her her. There was people. Me and it wasn't you, was it? Uh, oh, it was James. Uh. We're standing on the corner by Radio City, and these two people behind us are talking about it because my name was on there. And they're like, oh, that's the guy that got canceled. He was on SNL. And then I turned around. I was like, I hear that guy's a fucking asshole. And then it was, they were like, oh, our daughter's hosting this weekend. And I was like, well, oh, you're Sydney Sweeney's mom? <laughs> Holy shit. This is crazy. And then uh, they were like, well, yeah, we're here all week for it. And uh, I was like, do you guys want to come to a show? And they were like, yeah. Oh. So I think Sydney Sweeney's mom came to my show. Do you think Sydney came? No. She, she was working, but yeah. otherwise she definitely would have. She would have, hundred yeah. percent. God, I can't believe me and her are an item now, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I actually do think that that's like your last step in superstardom. Sydney Sweeney? No, not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not Sydney yeah. Sweeney. But like, I, I, I'm gonna predict it. Like, I, I do think you're gonna date like a like a Hollywood like a lister, and everyone's gonna be like, "That's our hero, Shane." Bro. <laughs> No chance. Yes. Any of these girls would put up with what That's I do. That's not no. true. Yeah, you're Bro, funny. Funny. I beats literally everything. no. If if a girl's with me, she watches me play Xbox for seven hours. <laughs> they don't stick around, dude. What's your game? I can't change. Uh, right. It, it fluctuates, but usually FIFA. How pumped are you for college football? I'm tonight? I'm dead when that comes out. I'm I'm I, shutting it down. My whole life is gonna be over. Yeah. I mean, I did that for all COVID. Oh, we were talking about this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I had an online dynasty over COVID. It was the best. Dude, I had, when we did, when I started doing it, like, because there was no sports, I was doing Oh, like I remember Twitch. you guys were filming that. I yeah. had like 100,000 yeah, people watching was incredible. lose the national yeah. title to Virginia Tech. There was yeah. no sports on. We were it so awesome. starved for yeah. sports. We were like, I, I would watch Big Cat play a video, video yeah. game sports because yeah. I, I get to see the, the, the green grass and I get to see a ball. And it looks like the scores on the on the TV, and I feel like I'm actually watching. It was sports. great, and it was like yeah. fucked up in my house too, because my wife would just be like, "Why are you down?" I'm like, "We had a fucking tough game against Baylor <laughs> yeah, this week. Baylor, <laughs> they were tough. Yeah. <laughs> we we me and my friends had, well, they're not even like they're they are my friends now. But so I when I was at, when I left Elon, I, I got an underage drinking and just left Elon. I never went back to handle that it's issue. A theme now, yeah, yeah. So then 
a, a, like a year later, I got a warrant for my arrest in North Carolina. Yes. And so my dad had to drive me back. This is this is ultimate rock bottom. I'm going to like Harrisburg Community College a year <laughs> after I was supposed to be at West Point. And my dad had to drive me from Pennsylvania, North Carolina to go to court. And so I had to get community service. So I just coached uh, like Pee Wee football team. <laughs> this is all my friends' little brothers. Yeah, it was the best. I actually loved it. Yeah, but then me and those kids had an online dynasty together. I was like twenty three. <laughs> they were all like fifth graders. I was fucking running the score up on. Them. So then those same kids, when COVID happened, are like adults now. Yeah, and we got the dynasty back together. Oh, that's for COVID. it. Was rules. wonderful. Yeah, it was great. And you're the coach. That's yeah, hilarious. it was great. Were you Notre Dame? Do you play as Notre Dame? I usually don't. I, yeah, you can't was, do that. You got to build. Yeah, it up we got to get a conference too. Yeah, uh-huh. if it's an online dynasty, you got to pick a conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Arch he, Manning's not going to be in the the new video game though. He I said, saw that. He said he's bowing out, or he wants to focus on football. So I I don't know how that would distract him from. Playing yeah, I don't football. understand why they did that. I think it's because that if you're if you're a Texas fan, um, every Texas fan that plays as the Longhorns would, if you have the opportunity to start Eli Manning or um, Quinn Ewers, who's yeah. the started quarterback, you're going to start. Or Arch Manning. You're going to yeah. put Arch Manning as quarterback, and then everyone's going to be like, yo, fuck Quinn Ewers. Why is he playing in real life? Because everyone's playing as Arch in the video game. And I think Arch was trying to be a good teammate to be like, I don't want all this pressure on my teammate Quinn. Oh, that's Because nice. everyone's going to play as me. I think that's he just, my theory. I think Quinn's the fucking man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I honestly think that if he was, like, if I was in a video game, I'd just play as myself the whole time. So when he says, I want to focus on football, like, I actually think he he's being honest. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I would <laughs> just spend so much True. time playing as myself. <laughs> yeah. That it just, because that's what I would do. Of course. Yeah. If you're in the game. I'd play as the left guard the entire game. <laughs> what, what was, uh, lame question, what was the moment that you're like, I can do this for a living? I have no idea. Probably, probably when I won Philly's Funniest. There's a tournament and or a competition in Philly every year. That was a big deal. Philly's like crushing. Philly's it right doing now. well right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like all these funny like shit little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you garbage there. guys came out of there? Yeah. McCusker, McKeever, Tommy Pope, O'Connor. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good group. Yeah. Nate Marshall, Lamar Lee, Sean Gardini. Get them all in there. Yeah. Philly's yeah. so funny because it's like a Rone. I, Ron, yeah, Ron, 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 everyone. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like people from Philly have like a little bit of sleaziness to them, but they love that part. They like are very yeah. open about how sleazy they are, whereas some other cities aren't. That yeah, that's open. why Boston was so good. Yeah, Boston was. Boston's like the best comedy city ever. Is there a bad comedy town? Like maybe not from people from that town, but like to play. To do stand up, yeah. like yeah, there's like New Orleans and Miami, or yeah, I've heard there. that. I've heard that about stand up and also music. Yeah, like it's tough to play shows in New Orleans because you're competing against everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. it's a parade and, of drunk people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we had Jay Okerson on, he was like, "We're like, what's the best?" He's like, "Just anywhere, pick anywhere in the middle of Ohio." Ohio's good. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Ohio's "It rocks." Nice. It's just the like the most average Boston. People. I think Boston and Philly are the those are my favorite. Yeah, Boston's always good. Yeah, that was like the first place I sold out. A club, yeah, it was Boston. That's and now you're gonna yeah. maybe do you're doing arena. You're doing one in doing LA. some arenas. Yeah, we'll yeah. see how that goes. I don't know how comedy fits in an arena, but whatever. Yeah, we'll and see. Then, that's going forward Madison Square Garden. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's gotta be wild going out, not being able to like see the back of the club, like not being able to see all yeah. the people that are there. Theaters like like last night, you can you can only see the front like three rows. Yeah, and it's like I'll go out at the end of the show and be like, "Oh, this is what it looked like." Damn, yeah, this place is nice. Yeah. So, what, what's next besides like arena tours? What's the next thing that you want to accomplish? Well, uh, college football. Diamond. I mean, arena tour is crazy. I don't know how long I'll do that. I'm gonna see what it's like. Um, mo- I would say making like some movies with like McKeever and my friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably do that this year. Hopefully. Be like the new Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah. All your friends. That'd be all. perfect. That's got to be the most rewarding part. Is just like all your all your boys are coming. Yeah, along and they're coming down to Austin too. And it's like, uh, yeah, that's like what Roughhouse did with McBride. Yeah, he got he has all his crew down in South Carolina. Yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah. so. Sick. My favorite thing Sandler did was he he just started filming movies in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Every we're, movie. We're yeah. Gonna have my boys. By the way, that's our movie idea. It's in like Florida. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Going on vacation. Spend three months in Key West. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Austin's a cool town. How's it? I've heard good and bad things about it as a comedy town. So I lived there for about ten years, but it was before like uh, the Rogan, that whole yeah. like the comedy mothership or whatever went there. How have has it like changed since you've been down there? 
I've only been down there since like November, but I was going there the last like two years. Yeah, there's there's a ton of comics there now, and it's it is like a comedy town. Yeah, like, people go there now to just go to the comedy clubs. Yeah, which, that's cool. It's just so fucking hot down there. <clears throat> it is fucking hot as hell. You haven't even done a summer. I though. feel like you don't do I've, well in the heat. Fuck you know. no, dude, dude. It's gonna be uh, it's <laughs> gonna be <laughs> inside for a hundred ten degrees of, yeah. between like June and August every. Thank year. God for the college football game coming back. Yeah, that's a godsend in the summer. It is. <laughs> yeah, I Austin's. Uh, I don't know. I still obviously New York is still the best right. at comedy. Yeah, yeah. Like the comedy cellar, I think is yeah. Yeah, because don't you have to get past there too and everything? That's how Rogan's Club is though. Oh really? Rogan's Club, yeah. They they adopted a lot of the stuff they were doing at the comedy store, which is like there's like door guys. That's a cool thing. That so is like cool. at the comedy store, you get you can get hired as a door guy, and then work your way up to like actually being a comedian there. Did you who who passed you at the there when you like first started in New York? Uh, wait, which club you mean, or yeah, or like which the how stand the stand comedy club booked me pretty early. Yeah, and then the seller, the seller I auditioned. Uh, I took an Adderall <laughs> that day. I didn't know it was an audition. So like three years ago, I auditioned for like a Comedy Central show. It, oh, it was Comedy Central live at the cellar, and um, I was hungover. I took an Adderall during the day, which I can't perform if you take an Adderall I can't do stand up I cannot I don't know what it is yeah I just get too focused like nothing's funny like I'll say something and be like why would I say that <laughs> it doesn't even make sense <laughs> but I just bombed my audition and then like two years later they were just like do you want to work here it's like yes yeah please that rocks do you remember uh, great story whatever at the Super Bowl no that was no nah, I suck whatever <laughs> you should take an Adderall <laughs> I, I wish <laughs> I'd be flying dude. you remember at the Super Bowl uh, was it last year when you were staying with Bert yeah and uh, we showed up and then Max was texting who were you texting with Dallas Goddard. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dallas Goddard. Oh, yeah. Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard. Dallas. But it was like Sup it was player? like a different a Dallas cooling. Goddard or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it was a different Dallas. Dallas Goddard's friend that was also named Dallas. Yeah. Who also knew my mutual it, it, I mean, I got fucked there. That was bullshit. Anyone would have thought that was Dallas Goddard. Yeah, but except for the fact that he was asking what you were doing the night before the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <I'll> <laughs> Dallas Goddard wants that to come was hang pretty out. pretty good. Yeah, but Shane took your phone and, and <laughs> texted him with the player. What's up? Big time player. It yeah. was like sup. It was sup. Then, it was sup. It was uh, sup player, and then sup player player. And then he's two players. And he said, "What's up with you?" And you said, "You wrote back coolin." <laughs> it was sup, no answer, and then sup big player. Sup big player. <laughs> Is it exhausting hanging out with Bert? Because I feel like that dude. <laughs> I feel like that dude well, he, doesn't. We, stop. I think we like went into your room. Oh, like, I was yeah. that Super Bowl. I was like. Yeah, because yeah, he films was, everything. Yeah, that was it's kind of like awesome. barstool. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah, obviously, I don't like being on camera. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Yeah, but he he's cool with it. Yeah, like, it, like Bird will be like, "Hey, everybody, we're doing this activity." And I'm right. like, "I'm just not. I'm not doing that." Yeah, yeah. I think leave me alone. That morning, you were you were hungover. You're sleeping in, and then Bert just opened up your bedroom door, just completely naked, and sh like shook. His dick <laughs> yeah, in his face. yeah. Was, <laughs> morning. That week was hell. That was a long week. That was a long week. I mean, we've. Day one. On Monday, day you texted one. me and you're like, I'm going to take it easy this week. And then flash forward <laughs> to like 1 a.m. and Shane and I were not taking it easy. Yeah. And it was, yeah. It was like, this is Monday night. And you're, uh, we I did not take it easy. Did not we take did it easy. did the opposite of taking it easy. <laughs> Went as hard as you can <laughs> when you're supposed to be taking it easy. That was a mistake. Yeah, yeah that was, it was a whole. mistake. I set the tone for the week. <laughs> the rest of the week, I was trying to catch up from Why don't Monday. You do what we're doing Monday. Yeah. It doesn't really get easier after yeah. that. Yeah. And then spending that whole week in the house with like Bert and like five other comics, just constantly like, come on, we're doing a podcast. We're filming something. I'm like, I'm not doing a fucking podcast. Yeah. There's a podcast he did. It's crazy how shitty I look. It was, uh, it was busting with the boys on Bert's cooking show. And I was just walking around and they were like, Shane, get on. I was like, dude, no. <laughs> I didn't talk. I did, I didn't say a word the entire podcast. <laughs> I sat, I did, uh, one with Barstool too, where I didn't talk. Oh yeah, with KFC. Kevin in, in I fights. Literally, you can do a word count on that. Yeah, I did not speak for like two straight hours. I do feel bad because I was. Banging. It was in the fucking sun. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just sitting there getting sunburned. You do do a lot of podcasts. Yeah, and I I don't think it's good for me. Why? I don't want to get overexposed. You're the mm. you're the you're the Taylor Swift for for white men. No, dude. <laughs> <shut up>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's only like so many jokes that you can say, or like so many hours where you can be on. Well, yeah. you have your own podcast, yeah. And I have my successful. own podcast, and 
Yeah, I like this though. This is nice. Yeah, I was trying to, to make this. it. I, I wanted know. to do this, and I know how much you were trying to make it really. And I, I went. I was like, dude, up. I'll do it. I yeah. promise, I'll do it. Yeah, we sent in the big guns. We had Hank get drunk with you. Hank got real drunk. Yeah, Hank's yeah. mission last night. How's like, Hank doing? I he, I don't know. He's still young enough. Yeah, he seemed to be handling it well. Because when we were leaving, he was banged up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, this guy's gonna be. He's not gonna make it dude, tomorrow. He's on a hot streak. He like lost his phone last weekend. Hanging out, booking guests on the he podcast this week. Last night, did he really? Yeah, he got fucked up. But so did we. Nate, you you were terrible. You embarrassed me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nate's actually uh, that's my friend Nate. He's a black pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the origin of that? Because I think you said that. Oh, I said it in front of Jerry Rice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Rice laughed at it. You were so. doing yeah. You were doing a show all Super, at the Bowl, Super Bowl. Yeah, in front of like NFL Nightmare. legend, literally comedy nightmare show in front like at a dinner table right yeah it was this guy who's he's like a he's a very rich guy and he was like do you want to come to this dinner and I, and then it was here's the list of the people that are going to be at the dinner and it was for real it was like dan marino steve young jerry rice michael vick ed reed shannon sharp tony gonzalez jim kelly thurman thomas like it was the coolest fucking right mcnab and then uh he was like can you do stand-up like, do you want to do stand up? And I was like, dude, I can't. That's There's no stage or mic. It's mm -hmm. literally in a steakhouse. Right. He's like, yeah, just stand up and do. Make us laugh. Oh. And I did say no, and he was cool with it at first. And then I realized how much he wanted me to do it. So I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I just had to stand up. And I was sitting next to Jerry Rice. So I stood up at the table, started doing stand up, and I saw Jerry Rice like at the beginning laughing and then just. <laughs> Look at his phone. Literally, this is a five minute set, and he's yeah. already like this, standing next to me like. And then I, I ended it. I was like, ah, whatever. That's fucking Shannon Sharp. Don't tell Cat Williams I suck. Uh, <laughs> this is my friend Nate. He's a black pedophile. And I watched Jerry Rose go, ha, ha. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> nice, dude. That's, that's a good close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> made him laugh. Yeah. <laughs> made him laugh. That's, that's uh, like, he basically did the, like, oh, you do stand-up? Tell me a joke. Yes. <laughs> but he was a big stand-up fan. And he's, yeah, he wasn't that type of guy that's brutal i'm sure you get that a lot now. and he let me go though like at first he gave a speech at first and then he was like and now and then i was sitting next to him i was like no i'm not going on right and he was like all right that's fine yeah he was being nice did that, uh did, did little shane want to grow up to be a, a comedian or a football player uh definitely football and then our united states soldier i, I wanted to be a fucking u.s army soldier and yeah. protect this country <laughs> yeah. uh i'm gonna protect quarterbacks in the country not a big deal uh but then yeah, I would say like junior or senior year of high school, I was like, I, I it was when Old School came out, the movie Old School, and I remember watching my dad like love it. Yeah, I'd be like, damn, I wish I was Will Ferrell. Yeah, and that's when that kind of started. Yeah, that's I mean Will Ferrell. Yeah, I mean we're we're about the same age. That yeah. was that string of movies was like even like Old School, Wedding Crashers, all those. Just yeah, like, fuck, this is awesome. These guys rock. Yeah, that was the best. Yeah, I did always fuck around. Yeah. I was, was always trying to be funny. That was like the golden age, for us at least, growing up at comedy. It was like mid-2000s. And I was talking to my buddy uh, Big T like two days ago, and he was like, they haven't made a good comedy movie since like 2015. Or do you think that there's like not as good comedy movies yeah. coming out? No, they haven't really. Like old or, uh, Hangover was probably one of the last yeah. Like, yeah. great ones. Yeah, they don't really make about. it. Yeah. Like I guess Trainwreck got a lot of, I mean, that was pretty funny, but still. Uh, the, the Trainwreck, one... the lady... The the girl one? Yeah. Oh, Bridesmaids. oh yeah, Bridesmaids yeah. is funny. The, girl, the girl, lady comedy? The girl yeah. comedy. <laughs> Ghostbusters. That was really yeah. Funny. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, girls can be funny. Girls are, good. yeah, they're yeah. very funny. Yeah, very funny. That one, funny I actors. mean, I love Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, It is crazy, though, because it feels like every comedy now has to be like a sad story, too. Where it's like, it, like even, I love that movie uh, that Pete Davidson did, the one. Staten with, Island? Like, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. That was great, and it was funny. Yeah. But or like even like Silver Linings Playbook, which has funny moments. God, but I it's love like, Silver Linings. Yeah, Playbook, dude. But it's like also very serious. Yeah. So you got to just you got to save comedy. Yeah, bring. No it. big deal. <laughs> I'm not trying to put pressure on you, but no. But you're gonna make movies, uh, comedy movies set in Florida, and it's gonna bring this country back. Yeah, true. And as long as you say like a uh, couple slurs, I can say Compton, cracker. Yeah, Will Compton yeah. be like this fucking rock. <laughs> <Will Compton. laughs> <laughs> Comedy's back, dude. He said cracker on NBC. This guy said gay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your service. That was big, dude. Yeah, got, it was. It was a crazy run. Did did they say it? I got we, bitch, whack off. Yeah. Gay, retard. They try to, <laughs> I got some wild shit on there. Did they try to stop you with any of that? No. Lauren was awesome with that. That's. There was one moment where 
in between rehearsal where I ran the monologue and I forgot all those, I'd left all those out. And then in between rehearsal and the actual show, you have like a half hour. And I was sitting with him and I was like, I didn't do everything I was gonna do. And here's some of the words I'm gonna say. And a lady was in the office with us and she got up to like, be like, I'll go check and see if we can say those. And he was like, don't check. Wow. He's like, just go do it. That's cool. Yeah, Lauren's, have, Lauren's awesome. Did he have a moment where he's like, I fucked up? He had been like that. He did, yeah, he yeah, he had your from back. day one. He yeah. was like, I wanted you on the show. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I mean, it was. I we were talking in the car, like, not that it's the same because yours is a uh, very different that it happened like that. But we had the si- similar thing with Barcel Van Talk, where it's like, get the show, lose the show. Yeah, and everyone's like, congrats, and everyone's like, you guys suck. Congrats. Yeah, that was tough. The amount of like when they announced me on right. SNL was just a million congrats dude you did it Mm -hmm. and then i didn't have time to respond to any of them so then five hours later whenever i started getting canceled (laughs) people were like it's okay dude you're gonna be okay (laughs) and then three days later four days later when i got fired it was like fuck them anyway dude fuck that job it's a lot i didn't reply to any of them so you get to see someone be like congrats snl's amazing you're gonna be all right don't worry about it (laughs) Fuck SNL, dude. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, and then I'd be like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Just reply to just the congrats ones. Be like, thanks. Yeah. Like, after you get fired. <laughs> yeah, that, dude. Oh. Uh, but it, in a way, and for us, at least it felt this way. It might feel this way for you, too. Uh, getting fired after one show is way better than getting fired if it was like a month or two months later. Yeah, I think so, too. Because then right. you put all that work in. Yeah. And then some people could be like, oh, you couldn't cut it. If you were funnier, you would have you would have made it. Yes. Right. But the fact that it happened so quickly, it's like, okay, it's not us. It's them. Yes. Right. That are firing us. Right. Yeah, and you, everyone spins it a different way where they're like, okay, they like it wasn't it was powers above them that made this yeah. decision, not because they sucked, which we probably would have sucked eventually. We 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 did one episode and we were like, we never would have been able to sustain that, so we got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> the first episode almost killed us. Yeah, yeah, that was you guys. I mean, McAfee's doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that. That that's what's so good about it is it's just a fucking podcast. Well, it's just it's just also, fucking around. Yeah, you know the pendulum swung all the, the way pendulum back. Has swung. It has. Yeah. It, it like it, it was. There was a time and place where everyone was like, "This is the new order," and like, "This is what you know." People can't like take risks anymore, and then it's come all the way back. It's like, what the fuck? Are we'll we see though. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, you think it's gonna come back on? I us? think I think this election is gonna swing it back. Oh yeah, we'll it'll get go hot. back. It'll go back to being. Uh, yeah yeah it's I gonna think. get hot on the streets you're yeah. probably right how many times do people ask you to do the trump like just on the on like the a street? lot yes yeah. <laughs> no, i mean it's better than people ask me to take a picture and they'll be like can you do trump real quick and it's like no just, <laughs> just take a picture man this yeah. is nice why do we have to, why do have to do but trump? it's better the worst is like let's take a picture and then can you do retard face <laughs> like, dude don't say it like that yeah, <laughs> do you do trump do you do trump face like could you do a trump face in a picture no what he does uh, yeah, that's that was pretty good. I Maybe. saw it there for a second. Yeah. yeah, you do the suck in. That's so yeah. perfect. Yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. The like, guy they have on SNL is incredible. Yeah, like, yeah, it's fucking wild. Yeah, he's really good at like at talk. He can speak exactly how Trump talks. Like, we filmed the sketch and he just would rant and be like. I'm trying to think. It, it, we did a sketch about like getting sneakers, and he's like, "And they're not even giving sneakers to young men anymore. What's happened in this country?" <laughs> when I was here, that wasn't the like. He just goes. It was really good. I'm not doing it proper, but whatever. No, that was good. Do you uh, do you know Alex Jones? No. Have you ever met him? I have not. I do know of him. Yeah. yeah obviously, shit rocks. But <laughs> yeah. I used to listen to him every day in my car at, <laughs> yes. at lunch in Austin. When he was, this is what I don't like about what Alex has kind of become now is like he used to be so much crazier back yeah. in the day. Like he used to be into. He used to like get on the air and be like, Hillary Clinton is, uh, she's actually a yeah, Brazilian, she's, yeah. and she smells like sulfur because she's the devil. And so yeah. I'd listen to that on my lunch break in Austin, in my, in my pickup truck. Like every day, I get yeah. there, I get my sandwich, I turn on Alex Jones, and now it's like. I, I almost want to say he's becoming like too mainstream where he's nerfing some of his takes. True. And I miss the old school, like uncut Alex. Hey, that happens to all of us. Dude. I know. In the end, that happens to all of us. I know. He, yeah. Alex Jones went woke. He did go woke. <laughs> it's sad. Well, he got sued for $1 billion. <laughs> yeah. So he's just <laughs> fucked forever. It's, all, it's also very funny to think that Alex Jones has a billion dollars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, he might net, He might get it. Dude, dude yeah. I, would, I would love to be sued. Somebody sues me and they're like, yeah, I think you have a billion dollars to give me. I would yeah. be like, thank you. And I'm that. For $1 billion. When yeah. he was on right. trial, that the chili thing was like that you remember that where it was no, like that? he like answered a question they they asked him like the names or to remember something in his past he's like 
I don't know. I had a big bowl of chili that day, and so my mind wasn't really working. But it's like that's the truth. Yeah. Like if you eat a big bowl of chili, it will fuck you up. Yeah. He only can tell the truth. (laughs) Like you, you late. Like you eat a big bowl of chili, you're like, I need to lay down somewhere. Like I can't answer questions. That's awesome. Responsible. (laughs) I'm fucking answered. (laughs) Anyone who's not like in tip top shape, like you eat. Any like you eat a bowl of chili, you bowl of chili, shot, dude. Pizza. I crush those palm up. Yeah, dude. I'm struggling, and it just like <laughs> sits in your belly, and you're just like, I don't want to do anything yeah. right now. He yeah. had what was the answer he had? Someone was like, so you think the government like covered up a pedophile ring or something? He's like, like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> and they were <laughs> like, just like, oh, oh shit, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Fair one, point. Yeah, that one you got us on. Uh, all right, we got got a couple last questions. It's been awesome, Shane. Uh, we'll have you back on anytime. Yeah. You you're in town. What? Uh, how tired are you? <laughs> your fucking your, your schedule is insane. No, it's it's not. That's the thing. That's one thing. That's yeah. Uh, it's just as hard as it was. It was harder when I was. I would have to do like six shows every fucking weekend at clubs. Right. In the middle of fucking Ohio. Right. You know. Or yeah. Like you'd have to go to the Albany Funny Bone, and it's a blizzard, and you have to perform six shows. Yeah. And that it was usually it was Thursday to Sunday every fucking week that's a lot now it's like it's it's easier yeah, yeah. i yeah. just i mean like you guys like going every single weekend as hard as you guys do it's crazy yeah that's why most comedians are sober yeah yeah i'm not there yet <laughs> yeah you're are, are you gonna get <laughs> no you can't dude what if you got cleaned up and you got like jacked you became like a that would suck jacked. i would turn would on you i would turn on you <laughs> yeah, just so you know. people are funnier I'm trying when to hide this fucking watch dude <laughs> oh, i don't want to change <laughs> You haven't. That's the thing, though. And I, I say that, like, with respect. Like, it's Thank crazy. Because mm-hmm. it is, you see people who have success, and it's like, oh, they're a different person now. It's like. I don't, yeah, I'm old. I'm older, though. Right. Like, I got it when I was this age. Right. 35, 36 is when it started. That does change it. That's, if I got famous when I was, like, 19, like some of these people. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That would make me an insane person. A little sass is going to change. Sass is going to be a fucking. <laughs> Dumbass, dude. He's gonna OD or something. <laughs> He's uh, <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's true though. Like it's, and I think that actually helps. Like I know for myself personally, like when people are like, "What is your dream? Like retirement's like have enough money to lose it gambling. Like that's yeah. all I want to do is just watch sports and hang out. And it's like if you change, then everything else, like your show yeah. changes and your comedy changes and everything like that. For sure. It's yeah. also like when people talk about retirement, what is what does retirement look like for me? Like I'm gonna stop watching sports with my friends and then talking about sports right after the game's yeah. over. That's my job. Right yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, I don't know yeah. why would I want to retire from Same, this? yeah. me too. It's like what do you what do you want to do? And it's like I I like stand up. Yeah. Yeah. I keep doing that. I'll sit and talk with my friends and it'll yeah. be a podcast. Once I get back down to small clubs and the clubs are empty, that's that'll still be fun. Yeah. 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 It'll be depressing. No, that's that's when it might be live from my mouth. This fucking gun, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, just do one night show only, like Madison Square Garden. Like it's gonna be the Bud Dwyer show. <laughs> do you think that show would sell out if you advertise like I will kill myself on stage tonight <laughs> yes. at the end of the show? Yes, yes. people would buy tickets for that. Yes. And I think people would be pissed if I didn't. So do mad, it. Like, they boo you when you walk off stage. You like promised us, they call you encore, out for an encore. encore yeah. do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And if that was, yeah, might string up a noose for that. That'd be fucking sick. <laughs> Hang yourself in Madison Square Garden for the like rafters. Sting yes. coming down. <laughs> they just keep your body up there next yeah. to the Billy Joel banner. <laughs> Shane Gill's killed Come himself. get me. Yeah. Uh, nice. All right. Well, last question. Roback question. R H O B A C K dot com. Promo code take. Uh, Roback, uh, Roback has Q zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, shorts, everything. Roback dot com. Promo code take. 20% off your first purchase. Uh, all right, give me the Notre Dame. Uh, what do you think this year record? Mm. How many games are you gonna go? So through? there's a knock on Notre Dame. Okay. Every year that they have a week schedule. Yeah. They never do. No, they it's never. Always do. top fucking fifteen at least. They do like every five years. Where this you year get like have, a down USC, yeah. a down like you know that's yeah, not their Stanford. Fault. This yeah. year the schedule is weak. Oh, so on you're paper. ahead of it. On paper. Look at this. Okay, so right. so it's A and M week one. Win. I'll be there. Where's that? That's in it's in College Station. Oh, that'll fuck be fun. Yes. Uh, okay. Northern Illinois win. Win at Purdue. Ah, uh, Purdue always they're good for one of those weird games. Yeah, out here. Purdue's sneaky. Uh, no, I don't know. The, I don't know if writing off A and M at the beginning's a win. That's a tough. Yeah, that's a new new coach. Dude, you know? Yeah, the Notre Dame the the classic Notre Dame loss is usually at home to like a team that they should like they lose to like Georgia Tech or yeah. Navy. 
or remember when they lost like UConn, like yeah, those, those weird ones that sneak up on you for sure. A like, Florida State in South Bend, that's gonna be a good game. That'll be fun. Yeah, I think. I mean, they'll be good this year in the playoffs. The team's good. The schedule is easy. Wait, who's your quarterback? Uh, they got that kid from Duke, Riley Leonard. Oh, he's oh, good. Yeah. yeah, he's good. He's very good. He can run. And they got better wideouts this year. The O line took a. They lost a lot. Yeah. But uh, that, that's – Notre Dame feels like at least the right. last, like, yeah. 10 years they've been, like, an O-line factory. Yeah. The uh, So, wait, how many games are you going to go to? Uh, I'm going to definitely go to a and I'm going to try to go to Florida State. I'll probably get to two or three. I love it. Yeah. I love that Riley Leonard. He's going from Duke to Notre Dame. Like, yeah. he's just trying to make everybody hate him. I respect <laughs> that. I respect that. <laughs> yeah. That is that is a very – But you point. see the schedule. They're probably – Yeah, no, there's not – 11 and 1? Yeah. And then get fucking smoked in the playoffs against somebody. Yeah, that – how bad – I have a, a buddy who's like a diehard Notre Dame fan, and he was – I remember get, getting live updates from the uh, national title game against Bama, and it was just like went dark after like the second quarter. It was just like, ooh. I mean, that was over – that was over quick. Yeah. Oh, so 2026 we're playing uh, at Lambeau. We oh, Gotta nice. go. Hell yeah. The first week of the season. Hell yeah. That's going to be awesome. Actually, me and Soder, this is something we could do. Me and Soder were talking about when NCAA comes out, getting a house, getting a bunch of dudes, and getting a dynasty going. Just doing like a full weekend yeah, yeah, dynasty? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm in. You're in? Yeah, fuck right, yeah. That'd be fun. Dude. Although, how? let me ask you this, because I the when I did my uh, like whole Twitch thing during COVID, I saw I was always like a good like nine, ten wins, and then I realized just running the ball like wins championships. Yeah. But that's annoying to play against. No, dude. That's how we're you playing. don't care. All right. So no. you don't like like in like kneeling. I'm kneeling the ball. Okay, all right, good. Because <laughs> that always that's yeah. like a touchy subject no. with like, you know, online playing. Like, do you want to play for fun or do you want to no, play? No, we're like, playing to win. Yeah. Yeah. Because then it's like I run the ball like thirty five times. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna manage the clock. <laughs> and I run this you I punt? spam the same Oh I punt, dude. Yeah. I'll punt. <laughs> yeah. It's like basically the same run up the middle and then like a slant that's unguardable. Yeah. And they just do that over and yeah, over. Yeah, you can find glitch plays like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, Notre Dame's playing Army next year, too. House Yankee divided Stadium. game. Oh, shit. House yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you going to, like, change jerseys at halftime? That would rock to. if I'm Big Phil split. wore, like, a Gillis Army jersey. He's still, my dad still wears, like, Army gear. Yeah. He's still proud. <laughs> he loves West Point. I mean, he did. He just loves West Point. He hates, he's ashamed of me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you could never be a cadet. <laughs> uh, all right, well, Shane. Thank you. Uh, everyone, I mean, you have a tour. Where's your – you're sold out. So, yeah. But everyone watch Tires when it comes out on Netflix. Tires is coming out in May. Yeah, and he's going to be everywhere. And I'm proud of that. I will say I, I went and saw him last night. If you, if Shane's in your city, you have to go see him. Thanks. Like, it is – it's so fun. He was at the late show, for the record. There's yeah. a bunch of people that were at the early show going, yeah, that sucked. No, but, dude, and I, we were saying <laughs> – I was saying in the car, like, the fact that, like, you went from an incredible special Beautiful Dogs on Netflix – to almost instantly, you have a whole new hour. It's like, how the fuck? I'm trying. Yeah, do people travel around and, and like see you at different shows? Like, yeah, you're dead for sure. And are they, are they like expecting new jokes at every stop? Uh, I don't know, but that'd be such. No, a, they seem happy to do it. Yeah, just it, to me, it would never occur to me to follow a comedian around. I think the second show would be like, oh fuck, he's doing the same act. Yeah, I'm not gonna go see this. Right. Guy. I guess yeah, like, I know like where the, this joke is going. Yeah, they probably <laughs> just make friends with people like they know their type, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like. I like Shane Gillis fans, so I'm just going to travel around and hang Who out with them. Who the fuck likes them, dude? It's a rowdy group. It is fun. Yeah, that is a fun group. Yeah, we they had are. that in in uh, Arizona when we were we were playing. Shane and I were playing shuffleboard on the same side of the table, and a guy like comes up, and I was like, oh, "I'm going to have to take a picture." And Shane's like, "No, no, that's one of my mutants." And, then, <laughs> like, mine, and like two minutes him. later, the guy comes up. He's like, "Hey, Shane." <laughs> They're not all mutants now. Yeah, that was back then. They were mutants. That was original. Those are the. <laughs> Those are the original podcast mutants. That you can see them coming. You're like, oh, yeah, I you know can see you. those guys. Uh, they just right. look like me. It's like <laughs> I can see me walking over, like, oh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's me. You like walk into a room you're, before they even see you. You're like, that guy's gonna say hi. A hundred percent. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. If they look like me, oh, like, oh, that guy's excited about it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Shane. No, thank you guys. Appreciate for it, man. it, man. You're you're the best, and. uh yeah, whenever you're back in Chicago, or maybe we'll come down to Austin. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do it again. Maybe we get on Matt Maybe and the Dynasty House. Yeah, come yeah. down and do Matt and Shane's. Yeah. Where's the whenever Dynasty you House? Want. Sass and Roan have done it. Oh, have you had Frank the Tank on yet? No. Bring Frank. <sighs> 
We got it. Come down to Austin and bring Frank, Frank on Matt and Shane's secret podcast would be please, dude. incredible. I would love to see Matt and him. Oh, that, uh, they would get along. That would be perfect. Matt's a, Matt's yes. so fucking funny. Matt's, Matt's incredible. Yeah, yeah, go see Matt. By yeah. the way, yeah. that's another thing. Matt's stand up is. He's actually going to be in Schaumburg so in a couple good, weeks. Dude. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, that Frank and you guys. All right, we're good. I don't even want to be on it. I just want to watch it. Please. Like a live watch of. Please you, bring us Frank. And then just let you guys keep going. Yes. And like we're not even recording anymore. Please. It's just it. Yeah. <laughs> I For remember. Real. I remember the first time you met Frank. I, and I was, you were like, you were like awesome. Because I'd seen him on, obviously online, and I, I didn't think, I didn't know it was as real. Yeah, it was, I think it was, I just walked by him and I was like, yeah, the Mets suck. <laughs> yeah. Instantly, it was like, <laughs> yeah. I felt terrible. I was like, my bad, dude. <laughs> no, you feel, that's, that's the thing with, with Frank is like, sometimes it's a little bit quiet in the New York office and you want to mix things up a little yeah, bit. You so f- you just be like, hey, what happened with the Devils game last night? You got to rattle his game. And then you, then you keep walking <laughs> yeah. and then you let everybody else around him deal with the fallout. <laughs> but he appreciates right. it. Sass's setup was my favorite. Lil Sass was between him and another unit, dude. There's a big guy. Was it Doug? Doug's, yeah. Sass and Lil Sass's desk was between them. Yeah. He said they were ordering <laughs> they were ordering more Grubhub while eating Grubhub. <laughs> he sat, just sat between two giant dudes that just munched all day. Oh, Frank is the best. Yeah. He's the best. All right. Well, thank you, Shane. Thank you, guys.